A few weeks ago, Seattle approved hefty new fines for dangerous drivers, and now road modifications are the latest tactic. Camos Joel Marino shows us what's going to change and why some neighbors say it won't help. This roadway is not meant to be a drag strip, but the Como 4 drone shows why street racers often flock to West Seattle to host their dangerous and illegal competitions. And it's really dangerous, especially because there's a lot of kids around, people on scooters, people walking their dogs and such. Speed humps like these are already in place in a few locations, but now they are going to double in number along Harbor, Alki, and 56 Avenues. Sections of asphalt are already marked, showing where they will be installed. It's all part of a traffic calming project, which could also involve some road narrowing and parking reconfigurations at Duwamish Head. Any car, especially a car that's going to be like, you know, doing some level of street racing, relatively low to the ground, having those types of humps there is definitely, I think, going to slow traffic down. Earlier this month, city leaders created a $500 fine for street racing and will allow police to impound the cars. The speed humps are one more measure to curb the problem in a neighborhood that sees plenty of pedestrians. I want it to be more safer for people so people don't get in a car crash. But not all neighbors are on board with this solution. I mean, they get loud cars anyway, and they'll just, you know, speed between the bumps. <laughs> Others say doubling the number of speed humps will lead to more backups for regular drivers. I don't think it'll help traffic at all. I think the speed bumps actually make traffic more actually impossible. Joel Marino, Como News. The Seattle Department of Transportation expects to begin the work this Sunday or Monday. The first phase will take about two or three days to complete.